All right, so I'm beginning to show his transformation. So this is my last frame. I'm going to keep his head in the same position, but I'm opening his mouth a little bit. And I decide I'm going to play with his eye a little bit more. I'm just going to warp it and just arch it up. In the front and down in the back just a little bit. Kind of like you would if you burped or something. And then I want to play with the effects. So the effects are just starting. You can see the red tinging his, his arm there. So now I can play them up a little bit more. Go to effects, just double click on it, and then I just push up the opacity a few degrees on both. And I can do that to the head as well. I'm kind of curious if I can actually, yeah, do a layer style to a whole group. I think I can. So let's see, what effects do I have? I want inner glow. There we go. It's going to remember the last one I did. And I want gradient overlay. It's going to remember the last I did, but I'm going to take its opacity down a little bit. So I'm getting a flush in the cheeks here. not too much too soon. Okay, then I need to move the sun. Unfortunately, I'm just going to get the corner of it there. Because my zoom is pretty extreme. Maybe I want to set up an in-between zoom. I think I will. So that was my last one. This will be the next one. Out right here. Show my guides. So you can you can speed up and slow down your zooms. Nothing wrong with that. Hope I can go wider. Let's see. Yeah, especially because I'm starting to move the other way. Might be good have an extra step here like that all right so now select inverse that's what's great about having these these asset files on a separate thing I can I can play and add to it as needed within the middle of the animation I'm not locked to anything yeah so that's still going to show the Sun so I want that all right now I'm going to stay within this my magic wand. Hold down option, layer, merge visible, command C to copy it and paste it over. And then command T, move it into the corner, hold down shift, stretch it down, make sure it goes all the way. If anything, over, overdo it a little bit. Okay, yeah, so you can start to see that little flushing now. Oh, you know what I didn't do though? I didn't expand it more. So I can do more. D. I increased the um, <coughs> the layer style, but I didn't increase the puppet warp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate and then say edit puppet warp. So if I want to back it up, I can. This time I'm going to move the hand a little bit. Got to pin that back foot. And I'm actually going to move the finger up just a little bit like that. And stretch. And stretch. And stretch down. Oh, maybe stretch them down a little bit more. So that neck doesn't feel disconnected. And you have to set your pins each time. What's funny is I could have his whole like tail start wagging. If I had more time, I would. I have that kind of control. All right, now that's what I want. 
over here. Option, layer, merge visible. So if you ever do it wrong, you'll see, you'll probably like just copy no information over, like if you didn't merge your layer first. And to see which one I prefer, I can bring it in and just make sure I like it better than the one I brought in before. It's just a subtle difference. And then I am going to delete one of these layers because these are my final frames. So do I like that one better than the one I just did or that one? I think I like this one better. So I'm going to delete this one. And now this is how those, those animations look. Yep, good. All right. Save it. Command D to deselect, delete that layer. I can move to the next zoom, keep the zoom going. Texture fill, keep that changing. Oh, maybe the top. Uh, the effect with the head. Not only am I gonna play with the opacity a little bit of the inner glow, and of the gradient. Actually, this might be a fun one to use a rainbow gradient on. <laughs> we get to be silly. It's just, just GIF animations here. Overlay works well. I don't love how pastel all these colors are. Tone them down a little. Always customize your gradients. Okay, push it up to there. And now what do I want to do with that? That's going to affect the whole group, I think. Now I think I want to close his eyes, close his mouth, and maybe tilt the whole head up a little bit more. He's just swallowing. Photoshop is processing all that information I just gave it. That's why you save frequently. Photoshop has trouble. We're asking a lot of it here. I'm almost at four gigs for this file. There we go. And a solution to that could be, I could take the resolution down at this point on both files. Right now they're at three, 300 or 350. Um, I can take it down pretty safely to 100 or 150. I usually like to do my GIF animations at eight by eight inches by 150. Maybe I'll do that if it keeps slowing down like that. All right, so it's saved. Now I wanna play with actually rotating the head and as you take those layer styles with me, very good. I can even play with distorting it, not warping it because it's multiple layers together, but just giving it a little bit extra emphasis. Because movement matters. Okay. Then I'm going to close the eyes all the way. 
and I'm going to close the mouth all the way. Something's going on. And now I'm going to play with the effects on the body, up these a little bit. Maybe changes from darken to overlay. It starts to be a little bit more prominent. Don't want satin on. All right, and now I get to puppet work. The fun stuff. Place anchors. I'm gonna move the foot just a little bit back. Keep swelling. Tilt that foot forward a little. It's like bracing for something. Let's see how that looks. Uh, looks good except for there. So let me puppet warp it again, move that down. And it, it all depends how picky you want to be with your animation. This does give you a lot of nice control. Yeah, that's better. Okay, and I gotta move the sun down. It's almost all the way to sunset now. And it's moving well with my zooms. Good, good. It's all working out. All right. Let's do this. Hold down Option, Layer Merge Visible, Copy, Command C, Paste, Command V. Come on, show up. Oh, shows up on the top. Move it into place, lock it to the edge. Transform it, hold down shift so it doesn't distort. Okay, yeah, he's kind of scrunching. Oh, I think I think the head could be out a little bit more. Ah, so many little things. Deselect, delete it, let's just move that head out a little bit. Sometimes you can't tell until you move the animation how much everything is changing. Move down a little bit. All right. There we go. At least I'm almost done with all the zooms for a while. Then I'll zoom back out. So hold down Option, Layer Merge Visible, Command C, Command V. Again, I'm going to see if I like this better than the one behind it. Or that everything just felt too scrunched in. Yeah, that helps. All right, so now it goes from this to this. Yeah, it's clearly something's happening. Good. I'm just happy that the, uh, the sun is staying in frame. All right, delete that. Move to my last zoom. I'm not going to zoom in any more than this. And now I get to really play with it. So the head effects, let's play them up. I'm going to skew, kind of move these ears a little bit. 